Welcome back, everybody. We have our special guest here. This is Miss Ruby. Uh, she's a frequent guest here at the house and an honorary member of the pack. So she's helping us out with today's video. And uh, speaking of help, uh, what I was looking for in this video is a little bit of uh, assistance and guidance out there as to what we should do with the rifle that is sitting behind me. So this right here is the Bravo Company. It's the OEM rifle they have. I think it's Browns exclusive. We just got this in less, probably less than two hours ago. So uh, it's really interesting little rifle. I know the OEM rifle concept is becoming more and more popular. And BCM has this one out, which has a couple things that I really like. Number one, it has, well, it's, it's BCM, so, so there's that. Uh, but it also has a lightweight profile barrel, uh, mid light gas system, so out front it's gonna be relatively lightweight. So I'm gonna actually uh, set this one up with the intention of perhaps down the road uh, using it as a home defense rifle and sort of like a go-to rifle, if you will, because I do like the lightweight out front. And I, of course, I'm very comfortable with Bravo Company and the products they put out. It just makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. So that's the rifle. Everything on your screen, uh, for those of you guys new here, uh, when I do Facebook Live, I don't know how many fancy software. I'm just using my phone. And because uh, I have fancy software, by the, by the way, uh, I've used it a couple of times and we've had just problem after problem after problem with it. And the phone just seems to work. So the downside of that is the images are flipped. So you're not looking at a left-handed AR. This is standard AR. But what I was looking for was suggestions on handguards. So um, I'm looking for a handguard that is generally going to be 11 to 14 inches long. I don't really like anything longer than that, personally speaking. Um, I would like the be MWOC. And that's pretty much it. And have a really secure mounting system. So uh, certain mounting systems are more secure than the others. I'm looking for something that's kind of relatively... Uh, a hard use type of lockup system and then we're also looking for a suggestion for the stock and then for sites um, kind of thinking Embus Pros or Griffin Armament sites um, those are two that I have so it's not that exciting um, I'm not against using stuff that I have and that you guys have seen here on the channel but I know there's all this new stuff coming out and you guys see uh, a lot more products as a collective group than I see here on the channel so I'm always learning about new stuff from you guys so I figured that would be a good opportunity to be able to do that so uh, looking for handguard suggestion looking for a stock suggestion um, Magpul I don't want to use BCM on either one because that kind of defeats the purpose of getting the OEM rifle right so MLOC handguard new stock sights kind of leaning like I said towards either the Embus Pros or the Griffin Armament those are two of my favorites for sure um, but other than that looking for suggestions so there is that Miss Ruby apparently is taking a break she's having nap time already and then of course since we always like to show guns here uh, I don't think you guys have seen this one yet this is as many of you guys know what this is it is a Smith & Wesson uh, model 29 this one here is the dash 3 version so we have the big old 44 Magnum pills in there so uh, it's definitely good to, going to uh, feel good in the wrist when you actually put the rounds down range with it. So, pretty cool little gun. Uh, nickel, of course, it's the old one before the Warriors got to Smith & Wesson, so it doesn't have any of those silly locks or anything on there. It's just good old-fashioned uh, American steel. Get ready to put some rounds down range with that this weekend, in fact. So, that's pretty much it. Handguard suggestions I'm looking for. Stock suggestions I'm looking for. Um, relatively lightweight, but I'm okay with a little bit more weight. Um, if it's uh, robust, if you will. So that is pretty much it. Miss Ruby and I will sign off and go back to watching the Celtics playoff game. And uh, that will pretty much be it. All right. Bye, guys.